Hello everybody and welcome to a new video answer and today what I'm going to answer is this question here in Ross Answers uh, which says I have obtained a map using AirTap map now I want to use the point cloud obtained to navigate from a place in the map to the required goal create, created using the Kinect box Xbox 360 and AirTap map please suggest how I should how should I do this okay so basically, yeah, I have created a, here I have created a, a mapping session, a very quick mapping session in order to, to show this. And I have also created, because in my case, my tractor bot has also a, a laser scan, as you can see here. It has a Hukuyo laser, yeah. So I have created both the point cloud map and a 2D map. Okay, this is important. So the first thing you need to do is to create a 2D map using the, for instance, the Slam G mapping uh, package. But uh, if you don't have a laser, you will have to convert your point cloud to laser scan uh, data. Yes, uh, there is a package to do this, which is called uh, point cloud to laser scan, I think. So you can have a look at that. Let's see. We even have some point cloud to laser scan. Here you have it. Okay, so here you have a, a package that converts the point cloud data to laser scan, and with this you will be able to create a 2D map. Okay, with slam mapping, for instance. For that you should look for the navigation packages. I'm not going to show all of this because it will be a very large video. Okay, but using the slam mapping package you will be able to create a 2D map, okay? Then, okay, once you have your 2D map and your 3D map, when you uh, create a, a mapping session in AirTap map, something like this will be created. I'm going to have a look at the AirTap map database. Uh, okay, so basically, when you create a mapping session, you will be able to see something. You will have something like this in your in your database, yeah. And this basically what does is to take pictures of all your mapping session. It's like a a recording of your mapping session. Yeah. So for instance, let's put ourselves here. As you can see, it keeps getting images of all what tur TurtleBot is seeing, yes? And for each image, there are some key points that are marked uh, with these uh, yellow circles, yes? And these key points will be used now, you will see, for localizing the robot, yeah? So for instance, let's put this at 45. And these other are 45 as well. Here we are. Okay, so as you can see, for instance, now both images have the points, the, the circles in yellow because there are no not uh, enough matching points. So it it's not recognizing the turtle to be in the same position in this image than in this one. Yeah. But if I now move to the same ID image, which is 45, these dots turn all pink. So this means that th these are matches. So in this image and in this image, the turtle bot is in the same position. Okay? So what is going to happen now? When I launch my AirTap map in localization mode, AirTap map is going to be checking the current image of the Kinect sensor with the image in the database. Yeah? And if both images match, it will localize the robot. Okay? So for that, what you will need to do is to create a, a launch file, which I have it here. Yeah? Well, let's stop the database. 
is to create a, a launch file which is quite similar to the one you use it for mapping in your time map, okay? So you have all these parameters, the topics, the scan, RGB image, depth image, okay? So it is, uh, you can use almost the same, uh, the same launch file you use it for mapping, but in this case, what I have added is this move base launch. So here I'm, la I'm launching the move base, okay, which is the main node for navigation. Yeah? Here you can have a look at the move base. Yeah? So this is the main node used for navigation and for path planning, okay? So here what I basically I'm launching this move base in order to perform navigation. And I have added here this localization parameter, okay? Which basically what does is very simple, is to set this uh, incremental memory parameter to false. If localization is true, this incremental memory parameter will be false. And it sets as well this init uh, wmw with all nodes parameter to true, okay? So basically, you will have to add the move base launch in order to launch your navigation system and add this localization parameter which will tune this incremental memory parameter to false and init wmw with all nodes to true. Okay? Then now we can launch this node here, this launch file here, sorry, navigation.launch and we will set the localization parameter to true. Okay? Then I'm going to launch this. Now here I, I will open uh, RVs in order to visualize this process. There we are. Okay, so now what I will do will be to move the turtle of a robot until it finds a point where it can localize. Yeah, where two images match, so the robot can localize itself. Yes, so that's what I'm going to do now. So let's move a little bit the robot. For instance, I can try to put, put it here, which I think here he will be able to localize because we have images from this spot. So let's put Tractor Bot Robot here. Okay. Okay, good. So there we are. We have the world map now. So the robot is localized in the map. Yes, yeah, so now what we can do is to load the the cloth map, the the map generated with the Kinect camera here by clicking here in the download map now it is downloading the map great there we have it so now we can directly send uh, let's stop first of all the keyboard tele up in order to work with navigation great yes yeah, so now we can we can send goals for instance let's send a goal here to the turtle bot And Tartable will begin to go there. There you have it. It is going to the wall. So yeah, it is performing navigation, basically. Yeah? Let's see. Goal reach, yeah. So it has reached its goal. Let's send uh, another one. I don't know. For instance, here. Let's send it uh, here. And yes, yeah, you can see the robot will again go there. We can, if you want, you can add a a plan display in order to visualize the plan. There it is.
go reach. There we are. So yeah, basically summarizing, let's just stop all of this. Basically, basically what you will need to do is to build a 2D map of the environment, first of all, in order to be able to perform the navigation. And uh, then you will have to modify a little bit this uh, launch file for a map, adding a launch for move base if you if you didn't have it already. Yeah, so you have to launch the move base node and adding this localization argument for uh, tuning these parameters here. Okay, so yeah, that's all for the video of today. I hope you have enjoyed it and. If you have liked the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.